Okay. Thank, thank you, Councillor Thompson. Okay. So all, all members of committee have spoken on this and I, I'd like to speak on it as well. It, it appears that it's uh, a unanimous sense uh, on this council that this is the, the right thing to commemorate in the right place. Um, I, I, it was absolutely fabulous. Uh, the amount of people that marched up Young Street and came um, to our, our civic square. We're proposing to have a uh, you know, a, a fabulous civic, civic square that will be the center, that will be the gathering place for Richmond Hill. Uh, but but this group uh, just 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 went ahead and did it. Our staff was wonderful. The city uh, was was completely cooperative. Uh, we opened our arms uh, to to that to that group that was uh, wanting to get that that message out, and it it just uh, warmed my heart. I I've. I've never had that feeling in 35 years in politics, going, going back to student politics, I've never seen a demonstration of its kind. Um, I, I hope to see many more of that type of demonstration at Richmond Hill. I think that's the place we can have a, a freedom Hill, uh, a, a place where um, a message can be sent, a global message uh, or, or a local message. But uh, it, it, it happened organically. It was absolutely incredible. I'll, I'll never forget that Masa Amini, Masa Amini chant that, that, that was uh, coming out from, from this crowd that was organized and well behaved. And I'll say another thing about public demonstrations. I've seen many. Um, there, there was never more uh, respect for the property, re respect for the grounds. Uh, it, unbelievably, uh, when all those people vacated the area, there there was there was not, no mess to clean up. Um, somehow, miraculously, that many people were able to gather with, without um, without without any garbage, any mess, anything whatsoever. It was planned on the spur of the moment. Uh, came together within a week, uh, which normally takes a year for that type of of an event. Uh, it was something else that needs to be commemorated. Um, and, and and the woman herself. Uh, need, needs to be the focus. There, there's no question because she she sparked this global movement. Um, and but I think um, by commemorating uh, that day and 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 the, in in this way, um, it will always be remembered. What happened uh, on in Richmond Hill? I, I think it was uh, an historic event. I, I think it'll be talked about in history. That that's something that happened. It's not something you can plan. It, it's it's something that happened, and it's a movement that goes. Um, beyond the the Iranian community, um, and, and it goes to to the human condition. the The fact that across the world uh, there is uh, a need for greater women's rights, uh, and a, a need for greater freedom. And and in Canada here, we we have an issue where uh, we we need to reestablish our own freedom uh, that was fought for that we're going to commemorate on November 11th. But uh, we need. Uh, we need a clear message that this is the true North strong and free, that Canada, glorious and free, uh, Canadians can speak out anytime, um, even if it's difficult or, or, or against an oppressive regime or, uh, you know, against, against uh, the a majority, against the consent, against any commonly held opinion. People can speak their minds freely, even if it's opposed to our government or, or this council. But, uh, that's what makes democracy great is for people speaking out. Um, it happened. It happened right here, right in the center of our city. And uh, we should be we should be proud and we should encourage that to continue. So I fully support the, the motion on the floor. 